Hey guys, welcome back to episode, I don't know, whatever this, whatever the freaking number is, because it's been such a long time. I don't even remember what number I'm on. I think it's 19 or something like that. Today what we're going to be doing is continue on through Melty Monster uh, Galaxy, whatever this freaking thing is called. <laughs> and then we're going to do another uh, planet in. God, it's been like such a long time since I've done another video. Personally, I just have been having so many problems. Family problems, work problems, you know, this uh, programming problems, and at the same time, all this extra other stuff too. Uh, computer problems. Computer, the computer has been such a drag for me all this whole entire time that it's pretty much that's the reason why this whole thing was screwed up you know the whole the whole videotaping oh this one yeah now that I think about it this is that stage where with the whatchamacallit the <laughs> yeah that thing the rock Mario thing which I absolutely do not like <laughs> I do not like this so that means it's probably gonna be failure city um, the main thing here is all you have to do is just knock down these pits, knock down 50 of them, and then you get, you know, the star. You also have to survive all the way to the end, so even though if you get 50,000, if 5,000, even if you get 5,000 and you don't make it to the end, that's not good enough. So you have to do both in order to win. Um, I have to say, this is not, like, that super difficult to actually do, but when you do stuff like that, <laughs> you crash and burn. Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, let's do this for real now. Yeah, we spent like three lives already, and that's a great way to start this episode. <laughs> I'm just cutting it off, so that way, you know, just because I just don't, I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood for having to, you know, re-showcase everything over and over and over. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on, and that's why all these videos are completely out of just a disaster. <laughs> just a disaster. I mean, there's no schedule. I mean, I personally, I personally like to have a schedule. I personally like to keep everything planned out and correct and everything, but it just seems like it wasn't happening. I don't... First the computer goes down, then I have some other issues, family issues that have happen. On top of that, then you have all these these things came up that I have to work on. It's just a disaster, <laughs> and that's probably primarily why I can't get these videos up. And then on top of that, don't forget the computer problems that I've been having. You know, that's really the problem. I finally got a new thing. Finally got it to work. The whole recording system. This one's kind of tricky right here. Be careful with that one. And there we go, 5300. But yeah, I got a new recording system, got a new laptop, got a new everything. It's all fixed, hopefully. Um, the sound might be a little weird. I thought the sound sounded a little bit off to me. But, um, you know, I just that's the way it is. I guess that's the new recording system, so I don't, I don't really have anything else I can really do about that. But yeah, that's pretty much the way it's been going on. That's why everything has been so messed up, you know. I don't know. I just hate it when things don't work. Everything just... Everything has just not been going very well lately. That's why I haven't been... Haven't been doing videos and stuff. As much as I used to do. Hopefully now that everything's fixed, though can get back to one video a day, two videos a day, so... Alright, so let's move on to this, this second star, officially. This is the one I absolutely hate. I do not like this star, and mainly because of this crap, you know? The, the main thing is, you get one try, you gotta get everything right and done, done correctly in one shot. If you mess up, you're screwed, you know? You don't really have a second chance, you know, to you know fix what you started. Mario, Mar Rolling Mario can't really stop halfway whenever you want it to. It's not like any of the other Mario abilities. Stop it. <laughs> See, it, it's just this bouncing that's really annoying. There's a couple of parts in the in this section that really 
annoy me. And if I don't stop doing that, I'm going to crash and burn and fall off. Come on. So yeah, that's pretty much the way that this is gonna go for today. Stop it. See, it just doesn't stop. As you can see, you already can see the problems. I don't know about everyone else, but I personally struggle with this one. So, it'll probably be a long montage of messing up. So, let's see. so you fly over this, and then now at this point you can't stop. You gotta go. You can't, I mean, it, you go 100 miles per hour, and there you go, I just died. <laughs> just great. All right, I'll be right back. Get back to where I was. So yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to be. And I've already tried starting to do this already many times, and I cannot get it to work. So the number of star bits I probably have by the end of this is probably going to be like 999. So you gotta fly over this, jump over this, grab that one up. Because if you grab the one up, you pretty much can. Um, you'll be fine, but. If you if the star bits go up to as high as 999, and that's pretty much how far I usually get up to because this game this one is so hard for me. If you get that high up, pretty much you're screwed. I mean, you can't you can't get any more lives from the star bits. So the only life that you can actually get, the only second chance you can really get, is that one um, that one one up that's flying around. And it's, it's actually not that difficult, but you have to line yourself up, so that's really where the hard part is. So yeah, it's going to be pretty much me failing. So if I can't get this on this turn, I'll probably... Come on... This part's easy, but... It really comes to the last part, where you have to bounce on the, the springs and all that stuff. It really is freaking annoying, but... Once I get past this section, um... Yeah, here it comes. Come on almost there, hit this thing, bounce off of it, bounce, bounce, go, 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 no, 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 oh, crap, all right, well, speed up time now. Alright, okay, so now, I'm officially gonna stop right here, <laughs> and try to really get this right, you know. So, if if I am actually got this done right, and correctly, and you'll be hearing my voice normally, but if, <laughs> if it isn't, you know, I honestly don't know how much longer it's gonna take. I've been, I must have spent like 30 lives already on this stage, um, and <laughs> it's a disaster. Come on, hit that, hit this. I mean, this is where it really gets difficult. I mean, here, the slightest turn, too much or too little, is not gonna be good enough, you know. You have, so you bounce on this thing, 
This is right here is a tricky one. And then bounce back and come over here and jump over. And how did I hit that even though I wasn't even touching it? <laughs> okay. So anyways, yeah, that's the way it goes. And oh my god, that was a disaster. <laughs> and you probably saw me die like 15 times. And then a couple, 15 more times outside of the video. You know, I'm like, ugh. Yeah, that'll be fun. So now I have 1,000. That's a good place, though, to get star bits. If you keep dying and all that stuff, that is a very good place to get star bits if you really need them. And I think I'm going to need more, though, but that, that would be a good start. How many does, she, does this thing need? 1,800? Okay, so we'll, we can't go that way yet, so we'll just move on to Clockwork Ruins. Um, trying to remember this one. I don't quite remember it, so that's why I'm like, uh, I don't remember what that one is. But yeah, um, oh yeah, this one, okay, now, now I remember what this one you're supposed to do. Hopefully this is not that hard. There is a secret star in this one, I just don't remember where it is. I think it's at the beginning though. There's Luigi right there. If we, want, if we wanted to play as Luigi, we can do that, but if not, then yeah. So yeah, anyways, um, hopefully now we can get actual stuff completed. Hopefully we'll get this game. Hopefully I will try to work on this uh, game as fast as I possibly can so we can get this done. You know, this, this game has been going on for months, you know, and, I, and it's been kind of like on the back burner because of all the problems that I've been having. So hopefully, now that I have all that stuff done, I can actually move on and do more stuff you know, now. So yeah, we're gonna finish up this one today, this this star, and then after that I'll probably won't do anything else. Oh, there's a Luma right here. How many coins does she need? Or it need 30? Okay, well I don't have 30 coins, so I'll have to try again later some other time. But yeah, that's pretty much the my plan, hopefully. Every day from now on, I should be able to get one or two videos up. Try to, try to get another game up, too, at the same time. Try, I can't remember if there was anything else that I didn't finish, other than the Super Mario Galaxy. God, it's a disaster. For me, personally. Disaster for everyone else because they didn't... They don't get to see any more videos, but disaster for me because of all the problems that I've been having, so... So yeah, so let's get this done. Alright. So, I think there is a... I'm gonna do the normal pathway that this section has. There is a shortcut way to go about this, and it is involving, you know, the gravity later on. You gotta watch out for this, this other stuff here. The rocks, the moving rocks, uh, the moving walls, I should say. You got to watch out for that. Make sure it doesn't push you off the edge. Okay, six. Stop right here. We'll wait until it retracts, contracts, and then retracts. But yeah, um, that's my plan. Hopefully, we'll have more stuff done. Wait, wait. Sorry about that, because the stupid. My stupid screen is turning off and on, and it should not be doing that. Oh, oh no! Ugh, okay. Come on, why is it reach- why is it contracting really slowly? I don't understand. And then it retracts- oh, push myself back in. Oh dear, stop right there. No, 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 no! Ugh. Go, 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 go! Okay. Oh, I could have probably wall jumped right there. Come on, go, go, go! No, 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 no! Oh, somehow, somehow I got that to work. Okay. Okay, get the comment. Okay. So, see how, see how all those blocks crushed and move over. You can, if you really wanted to, get on top of the gray, I mean, this brown area here, and climb up that way and get to the switch on the other side. That is another way you can go about doing this stage, other than just the way that I'm doing it right now, which is the normal pathway. 
it actually is a lot shorter. All you have to do is just climb around the building. So as long as you do that, then you should be fine. Um, let's see, I don't, I don't usually go down this base this way. I usually do the shortcut. That's typically the way I go about doing this one because it's just easier and it's less. And there's less enemies involved. I'm stepping on a pumpkin and it's not dying. Okay. Okay, so once you flip this switch right here, then the cage will open over here. And then you can grab the, you know what, the twink, the, the star guy, whatever his name is. Luma. Luma! <laughs> That's what his name is. So the star is up ahead, okay. Okay, yeah, the star in this one, I'm trying to remember where the star is. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's at the top of this area. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Be very careful you do not get Mario smashed because, well, if he die, if he gets smashed, even at full health, six, six pieces of health, he'll die. He'll lose everything. You know, that's one of the things I never, I think I've said this before, though. In Super Mario 64, when you get crushed by a really huge object, you only lose three points of life. But in this game, for some reason, when you die, I mean, when you get crushed by an object, you lose all your life points. Which, to me, doesn't make any sense. Well, I guess that makes kind of sense, because if you were flying into an accordion, then maybe they actually, you know, maybe you would lose everything. But... To be, I don't know. It just goes. It goes like against what you know, the Super Mario 64 was. I don't think there is ever there is ever a game that's ever gonna match up with that game. To be honest, I don't know. That Super Mario 64 is one of the ones that I just it's, it's one of my favorite games I've ever played before. So I don't know. I don't just don't think that that could be. There, it can be ever top. Even the Super Mario Land 3D, which I've actually played on the 3DS and stuff like that now. I've, now that I have that game, now that I have the 3DS and I've played it, um, it just doesn't seem... It just doesn't seem like exactly like Super Mario 64 either. Even when they brought it back for the DS system, it was kind of... You know, it was okay, you know. I like that the fact that they tried to do something different. They added Yoshi and Luigi and Oreo into the mix, but it still didn't feel like the same game. They changed a couple of the stars. You know, I don't know. There's just certain things that are different about that that I don't think match what I saw in the original game. That's why it's not as great. You know, I don't know. But yeah, let's just finish up this Super Mario Galaxy, hopefully get through a lot of it today. I only get through about three stars in a, in a video, and then after that it just seems like you don't have enough time to really do anything. Oh, stupid. A lot of turning, a lot of jumping. As you can see, we are on the last world, though, so it is going to be a very difficult set of steam, a little set of stars for the last couple. I think we're almost there too at the end. But yeah, that's pretty much the way to how I feel about that game. I've also been playing the Paper Mario 3DS one, and I like it. I I've always liked the Paper Mario series for the most part, except for maybe Super Paper Mario. That one, I never thought that that one was that great, to be honest. The, the one for the Wii. Oh, there's this. Okay, there's the star. Yeah, I, I thought the star was at the top. That's pretty much where I expected it to be. Oh yeah, this section. I hate this section. I really do. Uh, because most of the time I screw up or miss it or something like that. What you have to do in this section is get inside one of these holes. Get inside one of the holes of the gears. Climb up. I mean, climb on into one of the holes. Climb all the, as it rotates, you'll climb up to the top. Get on top of the gear, get on top of the gear, and then uh, grab the star that way. And I just died. That was great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. 
Okay, back here with the gears falling now. And I'm gonna try again to hopefully get this right. But as far as Super Paper Mario is concerned, that game to me, there's just something about it that I don't really like as much as the one for the the N64 or the GameCube. I really like the first one. The first one has always been my favorite of all of them. There's just certain things about it that I like better than the second one or the third one. And now that they have a new one for the 3DS, I played it. And I think it's I think for the most part it's good. It has elements of it that are non-linear, which actually I like. But I also don't like the fact that there's no characters. There's no extra characters other than... I mean, that's the one big thing about Paper Mario that I've always liked. The extra characters that we have, you know, Goom Goombario and Koopa, you know, all, I mean, all those. If you just count all of them, there, there's many of them in this game. And in the 3DS one, there isn't any. So that's kind of a downer for me. It's a step backwards from what it what it is, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't necessarily like that part so much. <laughs> But, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's a good game. I mean, it plays well, it's challenging. You actually have to think about what, which stickers go where, you know. And that part I like about it, but I, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like a Paper Mario game because it's missing those extra characters. Okay, so once you get into one of these gears, you gotta get on top and not fail like, like I just like I did. Go, 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 go! <laughs> I'm like running with the gear. No! What are you doing? <laughs> uh, sometimes the controls, right here. This control, I've always... I've kind of struggled with this one too before in the past. Mainly just getting up there is the... to the star. Getting up there is really the hardest part of this one. Okay. That's not how you do it. Um, yeah, but... So you get up in here... Seems like, oh no. And I missed it. Shoot. <sighs> I'm not having a good day. Already two stars I I I stopped stopped recording this video for two stars I have. Now, now I know exactly why I stopped recording because I hated these two stars. Look. Oh, come on! Go. Go. Yes. Finally! Alright. I get up there. Alright. Good. I got it. Alright, so yeah, that, that'll be a good way to stop this video. And thank God, because I cannot deal with these stars anymore. So hopefully I'm back. Hopefully everything is good. Hopefully there won't be any more computer problems, family problems, or anything else problems. I can actually get back to playing this stuff and doing more videos. And that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, see you guys next time. Let's see what does he have? Go to Honey Hop Galaxy. Okay, well I'll try that next time. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.